Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Shalom, the Lord bless you. <clears throat> I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betanba, and this is Prayer and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They received a warning about you, and someone is about to go tell them you are a no-go area. I say it again. They received a warning about you, and someone is about to go tell them you are a no-go area. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, um, there is a saying that says, when power jumps power, the lesser power bow. The lesser power will always bow if it means a stronger power. But the lesser power becomes and remains a king until it meets a better king to bow down. Hallelujah. So I had a, a vision and it's a dream. Okay. I want to talk about this particular dream. And this is what somebody's going through right now. And this is what is happening. In that particular dream, all of a sudden, I saw myself with some group of people. We were fighting our opponents, and our opponents were very wicked. Yeah. Our opponents were very wicked, and we were fighting our opponents. And at one point in time, I don't know if the people that I was fighting with got manipulated. They could not use their arms anymore. Their arms like the guns and the weapons and all that. So I was struggling to tell somebody, you were doing this. Well, what is happening? Why are you not doing this anymore? How are you not doing it better anymore? So, so it seemed like those people were defeating us and all that. And all of a sudden, I started trying to run, okay? So while I was trying to run, one of them followed me. I was trying to shoot and all that, trying to attack me and all that. And then all of a sudden, I gained my strength. I decided to face that particular person. I got into a particular hideout, grabbed the person, and started beating the person. So I wasn't using my arms anymore, like my weapons anymore, right? I was using my hands to beat this particular person. Like, I really had to beat this particular person and all that. Like, you know, until the person was no more. Now, it was like... It now turned out in this particular dream that we had defeated the other people now and it was remaining the big man. And why it was remaining the big man in this particular dream, I had a whip, all right? So I was whipping this man together with the people who were fighting, we were whipping this man. The man looked so demonic, like, oh my God. Oh my God. The man looked so, so demonic. All right. We were whipping this man, like we were whipping this man and saying, this is a warning. This is a warning. You're taking this warning back to your camp. So in that particular uh, uh, dream, we didn't want to kill the man in that particular dream. We wanted to send this man to say, our lives are no-go area. Our group is a no-go area. Our camp is a no-go area. So we were whipping this particular man. Then I woke up. Now, guess what happened? Most of the times in my dreamlands, I hardly have the strength to whip people. Like if I want to whip somebody, the whip is always very slow. Like my hand will be weak. And the way I want to whip that person or the way if I want to hit somebody in my dream, my hands will be weak and I'll not hit the person with the energy that I would wanted to hit that person. You get it? So, but I noticed that in this dream, I was whipping this man with so much strength. I was whipping this man with so much energy. And that was when I realized that this was a real battle. 
this was a heavy battle. You know, throughout these days, it's been a season of warfare for me. And we have been praying about that. And a lot of people have also been confirming that it has been a season of warfare for them. There are people who are under attacks. There are people who have been on, in, in limitations for a long time. A season of warfare most of the times happens when you are at the verge of a particular breakthrough. And the devil doesn't want you to get that breakthrough. The enemy doesn't want you to get into your next level. So they will fight you at every cost to defeat you and to make you lose your testimonies. A season of warfare is when the devil decides to fight you and just make your life go backward. When you realize that, please don't sit. When you realize that, please stand up to your right. Stand up to yourself and fight when you realize that. It has been a season of warfare, and for people who have been attending our live prayer sessions, it's been heavy prayer, prophetic warfare prayers against witchcraft, against battles, and against attack. So you should go, and if you're not watching, following us live, you should go and watch the replays. It's been powerful. It's been amazing. Make sure you're connecting yourself to this season so that when we all are testifying, you too will be testifying in the in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for us that God will help us overcome this battle. The Bible says, Rejoice ye little children, for ye have overcome the world. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. We are overcomers. We will overcome the season of warfare. We will overcome the spirit of our lives and we will give God the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. If you're going through what I'm speaking about right now, if you know that you're going through what I just said, please type it on the comment section, connect yourself, make that confession. Say, I will overcome the season of warfare. I am overcoming this battle. I am overcoming the spirit of my life. You are overcoming. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God is fighting for us, and we are overcoming. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Please do not forget to like, do not forget to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Welcome to the family. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Please do not forget to pray for me. Please call my name in the place of your prayers. Keep interceding for me. Keep talking to God on my behalf. Thank you so much for praying for me. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. I do appreciate that. Thank you so much. God bless you and reward you mightily for your sacrifices, your love, and your devotion. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing amazing, nothing broken. I love you so much. I do. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.